Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse reporting from the Austin Daily Herald, bringing you some of today's top headlines. Black Friday madness hit Austin this morning as Austin residents battled the elements, but hopefully not each other, in hopes of saving money on gifts this holiday season. Some stores, such as Walmart, kicked off Black Friday sales at midnight, while others opened at 3 and 4 a.m. For a photo gallery from Black Friday, check the Herald's website. I can tell you that I definitely did not go out for Black Friday. I stayed warm in my cozy bed, uh, especially so that I could attend the Christmas in the City celebration that's going to be going on today. Austin kicks off the holiday season today with the 22nd annual Christmas in the City celebration. The night starts with a parade and the lighting of Christmas lights downtown at 6 p.m. There's going to be sleigh rides, train rides, music in the town center, and a bell ensemble. There will also be a number of performances like St. Lucia Fest and the Nutcracker. For coverage of the event, see the print edition of the Herald on Sunday. Uh, that'll be the print edition that I will most likely be writing. Uh, look for me downtown tonight as I will be covering the event. And I will be bringing a flip video, so there will be video on the website. And in state news, 80 St. Cloud-based soldiers are leaving home this weekend to help the drawdown phase of military operations in Iraq. The Minnesota air crew members and support personnel will travel to Fort Hood, Texas for about two months before their 10-month deployment to Iraq. A departure ceremony is Saturday in St. Cloud. Uh, I know when a good friend of mine, Trevor Dahlstead, was over serving in Afghanistan, I would write letters to him, uh, especially during the holidays, so I would encourage everybody to, you know, write letters to any of the servicemen that are currently serving overseas because I know that they appreciate that very much and we will be having a story about Ellis Middle School kids doing the exact same thing next week. Alright, for the Austin Daily Herald, this is Trey Muse bring, uh, just bringing you some of today's top headlines. For more uh, top headlines and more news about our community, visit austindailyherald.com. That's the way it was today.